Hello there, this is your girl Tracy here, and I am making a video just cruising through different townships in Delaware County, which is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So pretty much the county is the upper suburbs. You're going to hear music that I do not own any rights to, but you would just hear it playing in the background because I'm listening to the radio. This section up here is called the home section. They have stores, Ross, Marshalls, Burger King, TD Banks, auto mechanic shops, gas stations, wing spots. As we go further down, this section now will become, it's crazy, okay? The right side is considered Falkroft and the Excuse me, yes, the right side is considered Falkroft and the left side is considered Glenoda. So when you go to the Wawa that is on the right side, you would be on Falkroft. If you shop at the Walmart, the Wells Fargo, the Pep Boys, the Foreman Mills, the ShopRite, all that is considered as Glenoda. As you go down a little further, it becomes Alden. A-L-D-A-N. So it's just a lot of different little townships and boroughs. But the township of Glen Olin is, uh, Glen Olin is actually in the township of Darby. <laughs> but Darby Borough is further down towards Yaden. Closer to the city of Philadelphia and so forth. So I'm just cruising in my car and I'm making a YouTube video because I know sometimes people get on YouTube and they like to surf and search for a lot of things when they do come to a city to visit. And most people mainly go to like the uh, main spots which would be Center City, Philadelphia where you would come to visit and a lot of people will go to Fifth Street which is also considered as Independence Hall and they like to look at the Crack Liberty Bell. It's a lot of historical stuff that's down there. I actually don't have no interest in it I guess because I'm you know, live in Philadelphia. I don't go downtown for anything at all unless I have to go somewhere that my job sends me for work or whatever. But I really don't have a reason to go to Center City, Philadelphia at all. Um, it used to be the spot back when I was growing up. It used to be a whole strip on Chestnut Street. They had the Sam Eric Theaters. Uh, Walden Street had the Rittenhouse Theater. They had arcades. Uh, there was movie theaters further down bowling like it was just so much to do but now it's just a bunch of shopping stores so i tell people that do comes to philadelphia that wants to come and visit to me philadelphia is a great city as far as e <laughs> eating shopping and partying because that's all i pretty much see people do eat drink and shop and party so me you know i don't do a lot I'll just pretty much work and go home and work and go home and work and go home. <laughs> but I do like to travel. So I do like to come to your city and visit. So my husband and I, we do travel a lot. Uh, we like to ride roller coasters. And sometimes when I am on my journey, I don't really think about, hey, Tracy, make a YouTube video. Let's show the YouTubers. You know, what's going on with these theme parks? Because I'm mainly Facebook, and I do a Facebook Live, and I show all my friends and everybody that's on Facebook Live. So I have a lot of videos that's actually on Facebook that would not be on YouTube. So I'm rarely on YouTube, but I watch other people's videos and other people's blogs, and, you know, I watch how people do YouTube videos and stuff like that. But me, I'm just going to keep it real. It's not going to be no cameras that's going to edit, that's going to cut anything out. What you see is pretty much what you're going to get. Because when you start to cut stuff out and you start to edit, you know, you're taking out the things that people really probably want to see. You know, like when I travel to a state, I want to know the bad parts. Like when I went to Chicago, I need to know what side of Chicago to stay out of. Now you see this car that's flying past me. You're going to get a lot of this in Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania drivers, they don't even necessarily 
Philadelphia. Just Pennsylvania drivers drive like the police is chasing them 24-7. They drive reckless. They are very irresponsible. And for some reason, they feel as though that they always have to be first. So you would see cars run red lights. You would see them run stop signs. You see what he just did up here? Now all this is being recorded. And if they see you trying to come out, as that person was trying to come out of a Wawa parking lot, they don't even slow down. They will actually speed up. It will kill the driver to let somebody come out of a gas station, to let somebody come out of their driveway, to let somebody come out of a one-way street. They don't want to let you out. And then if you have somebody that's generous that would like to let you out, the car start blowing a horn at them. And then they drive around and stick their middle finger up and they just acting ridiculous. Like, I don't understand why it's so hard just to let somebody come out and continue their driving. But there are no courtesy. People are not sharing the roles. Everybody's just pretty much selfish. They don't care. It is what it is. And quite frankly, you know, I blame the new generation because... That's pretty much who I see driving. I know I don't drive like that. But, uh, you know, that's one thing I can say. When we went to visit Branson, Missouri, you didn't get that kind of driving. Even when we went to Orlando, Florida, you see the little bit of people that was driving like that, but they had Pennsylvania tags. Okay, crazy. Even with the rental car agency, it must be something about them Pennsylvania tags that just cause people to get in the vehicles and just say, hey, I'm a madman behind this sucker and I'm going to drive any kind of way I feel as I want to drive. So I don't know what it is. This top class detail place over here, if you ever come to Philadelphia, come over here and check my boy Richard out. He details cars very, very well. Your cars will be clean, shining, and spotless. That's my number one ace there. I go there to get my vehicle detailed and waxed when it needs to be. So anyway, I have my cell phone camera that's sitting in a holster and it's kind of leaning forward so you will see like the front end of my vehicle, which is the hood. I cannot get it to sit up straight because my phone is seven inches pretty much and the windshield is like right there. So it's not giving me a lot of room to be able to have the phone sit up straight completely for you to be able to get the full view of what's going on. But you are getting parts of my hood and I can try to raise it up some, but it's just gonna lean back down. So I am sorry about that. I tried. Uh, just can't get it to sit up straight but anyway this section right here is considered as Darby okay so you have one side that would be oh gosh let me get it together one side is Alden so the section that I'm in right now when I come down here and I make this left turn this is going to take me towards Darby but well, remember a couple of blocks back, I told you it was Darby Township. Well, this one actually turns into Darby Borough now. Ha! Okay. So, me personally, um, if I wanted to give a visitor or a tourist or anybody any type of information about Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it can only be based off of my opinion things that I see and things that I go through. And I understand and I completely know that every state has their good side and they have their bad side and crime is everywhere. I want to note that, okay? But one thing about Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, there's a lot of shooting. Chester, a lot of shooting. Harrisburg, a lot of shootings. Okay, so it's just like Pennsylvania. It's not even just Philadelphia. It's different parts of Pennsylvania. We have very, very high crime rates. You can hear about 20 people being shot up in one night that would be on the news. It's just ridiculous. You get robbery. You're getting uh, sexual um, conduct. People, you know, uh, sex trafficking. Um, you're getting people uh, sexual harassment whatever type of way that you want to call it 
you getting burglaries, you getting crimes, you getting car accidents, you getting just mad, evil, angry, demonic people is what I would pretty much call it. But then you have some very good, pleasant people that's lovable, they care, they share, they you know, want to see their communities thrive and do well. And, you know, it's just good section and bad sections. Me, personally, I would recommend people, if you come to Philadelphia, Center City is a place to visit. It's not a whole lot to do down there. You have the Rittenhouse Square. Okay, and then, like I said, you have the new mall that they open up down there. And they have some shopping, some stores, and maybe some clubs and restaurants. Okay, but... The hardcore part of Philadelphia is when you go into the neighborhoods. Now, I know when I went to Los Angeles, of course, you're going to see the good side of Beverly Hills. You know, you're going to see the good side of Los Angeles. You're going to see the good sides of certain sections you go to. Okay, that's fine and dandy. Rio Drive and all that. But no, I wanted to drive through Compton. I wanted to drive through Watts. I went down to Palm Desert. I went to Indio. I wanted to drive around to different parts of California to see what it has to offer. I hear so much about don't go to Compton. Me personally, I think Philadelphia is worse than Compton. Compton has blood and crips and they fighting over territory and drugs or whatever. Our people up here are just crazy and they don't even know why they doing what they doing. You step on their sneaker and they want to pull a gun out and shoot you for no reason at all because now the sneaker is not clean. I mean, it's just the dumbest stuff. People don't like you. People get angry. Everything revolves to just grabbing a gun and just take a person life now. I really don't understand the mentality, but those are the things that are going on up here. But like I said, I personally like to travel different states to go to the theme parks because I like to ride roller coasters. Oh my God. And another thing, these Africans out here cannot drive. I don't know if they over wherever you live at, but they will hit your vehicle. I don't know who, how they got their driver's license or whatever, but they're dangerous. Okay. So that is pretty much going to be the end of my video right now and this is like the back part of some of the hoods that i'm driving through okay look at this right here see tight car too far out but you know when they get hit then they start crying the blues but I will make another video where I'm going to just drive around different sections of Philadelphia just so I can show you so you can get to actually look and see it on the video. I'm going to take you to some good sections. I'm going to take you to some bad sections. I'm going to take you to some malls. I'm going to take you to... So that way when you do come and you visit Philadelphia that you will get to see a little bit of everything. And I always believe and think that it is best... For a person that lives in the city to actually do a video on the city because you can have a lot of people that come and visit your city and they can make videos and stuff but they're not going to know all the ins and outs what really goes on in the city where to go where not to go you know it's just their personal preference but i'm gonna give you the real deal all right so this is Jerry hi in case y'all wanted to see who i am you know who i am now but i will make sure that i would keep these videos coming so if you like my little video and you know like i said i'm a beginner you know i don't do all the high tech videos everything is pretty much on my cell phone which is the samsung galaxy a71 5g i also have the iphone 13 pro which is right here and i have a case to cover the lens because i here we go. Mm, it likes to sit out. Okay, so I like to keep my lens and stuff covered. But anyway, I do videos on different things. I'm not just about one thing. Just do cell phones or just talk about uh, uh, food or talk about the latest technology or cars or resorts or, or hotels. I'm all over the place. So I'm going to make videos about a lot of different things. So I thank you so very much for watching. I'm out. Deuces.